learn together. Let's learn together. If you're struggling with your kids, maybe this will help you out. We are opening up the Mommy Daddy Handbook and learning for like a new way to parent. Joining us this morning is Micah Lemons. She's here uh, with more on PET. It stands for Parent Effectiveness Training. Micah, good morning and thanks good for morning, being here. Sammy. Thank you for having us. Okay, uh, what is PET? It's actually PET. Okay. And Parent Effectiveness Training is a parenting program that's developed by Dr. Thomas Gordon. Mm -hmm. And um, parents learn very practical uh, skills, communication skills, to help your children resolve conflict and how to communicate with your children so that they will listen to you. Well, bless you, little man. <laughs> You've got a few sneezes coming out of there. Uh, if there was a mistake that you could kind of hone in on that parents make when it comes to raising their kids, one, what would it be? I guess um, new parents often don't realize that if you want your children to grow up to be independent and responsible human beings, um, you don't lecture them into becoming an independent person. You don't say, you have to be independent or responsible. That's not how children become independent. They become independent by allowing them to solve their own problems themselves. Okay. And that starts at a very young age. We actually have a few families here so we can demonstrate uh, to our friends at home, parents at home, what you mean by this, right? Exactly. Okay. So, for example, a toddler, uh, if they drop a pencil on the floor, don't pick it up for them. They can pick it up themselves. And I would like for you to demonstrate that a toddler can also be requested to spill up their, uh, clean up their own spills. Okay, let's see. Okay, Dante, look, there's a spill. Let's clean it up. Can you clean it up? Thank you. Good job. You did it. All done. Oh my gosh, you are so job. cute. But there's actually a message behind this. That's right, because now when you uh, raise your children this way, they have the impression that, oh, if I have a problem, I don't have to look to my mom to clean it up for me. I can clean it up myself. And if you do that throughout your life, once they are age 16, 18, they also feel responsible and independently solve their own problems. Okay, what's another scenario, Micah? Well, the other thing is, is that when children become a little older, uh, parents complain to me and they say, uh, how can I make them listen to me? My children yeah. don't listen to do me. Do you not listen to, do I have a microphone? Where's the microphone? Yeah. Do you not, do you not listen? I do listen. <laughs> you do all the time? Everything that mama says? Mm -hmm. Okay, she well, says she's good. Listen. That's because her mother had a PET course with us. Okay, okay, so can you show us an example of how you would... Yeah, it's, uh, you, there's a lot of skills that you can learn, and you okay. will learn that in our workshop, but a good place to start is to use nonverbal communication How skills. do you do that? And first, I want to show what it looks like if it's, if it's done the wrong way, if wrong you don't way. use that. Okay, this is a no-no, parents. Okay. Kaya, can you come here and sit down with me, please? Because she's not responding to her mom because th she doesn't even see her mom. They're facing back to back. So now I, I want to demonstrate what it is when you do use nonverbal communication skills. Kaya, come sit down with me, please. So come down to the child's level, look them in the eye, and the eye contact in your body posture can tell them a lot about, I need your attention right now. Oh, that's great. What about teenagers? If you have a, a teen that just, <laughs> yeah. that stage that everybody just goes, ah! Well, I think uh, one important issue with teens mm. is that, again, don't be the lecturer. Try to be a consultant. And the difference is, is that a consultant is being hired by somebody. So give your child good advice when they want to hear it and when they're ready to hear it and open to That's hear it. That's the key, because a lot of times, uh, if they're not ready to hear it, which we know teenagers sometimes are like, ba 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 don't exactly. talk to me. You, you could be talking to the wall. It's right. not going to do anything, right? And a lot of parents then push through. Mm. And instead of pushing through, listen to your teenager first, and then once they feel understood by you, they are more open to the advice that you want to give them. Well, Micah, thank you uh, for being here. Thank you to, to the families. I'm sorry? Oh, hold on. Yes, Raul. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? My question was simple. Yes. Do, do, is it advised that you talk to kids like an adult or like you Good. talk to them like in their language, kind of like, good don't question. do, 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 good do, question. do, 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 it's very important to use age-appropriate language. If you say to a toddler, I'm heartbroken, they're not going to understand what you're saying. If you say, I'm sad and I want to cry, then they do understand. So appropriate language 
that matches their age is a good idea. You know, Raul, what's really cool for all the mommies and daddies out there, they yep. have workshops that you can go and learn yep. all of these techniques. Uh, they have a book, too. We've linked yep. all of the information for you up on our website, foxlifesandiego.com. You just click the Scene On yep. tab. Thank you for being here. Can we just finish up with this cute little face? Oh, look at the boo -boo. <laughs> See, you have Hi, a bad boo -boo. day. You just look at those faces. Look at the smiling boogie 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 the other kid said that. That he, baby uh, makes me want another. I do the baby talk thing, age appropriate thing, all right. the time. Like, I got smacked the other day by my kid, <laughs> who is two, like smacked. And I looked around and I, I don't do that, doesn't work as much as, as well as. <laughs> Daddy sad, Daddy owie. And she totally she understood it. it. She went like this and said, Stasi. Did she really? See, there you go. She what are we she, talking about right now? Well, you spoke to her in a language she understands. She was able to be empathetic, and that's what you yep. want her to do. And if all you're going to do is scare her if you use your, your, your Cuban commando voice, hey. and you're all like, bad girl. DJ J Flex, by the way, our floor director, is like, has had it with our baby talk for this morning. You know uh, what? Had it. No? You haven't had it? All right. Wait, Russo. He should know. He has a daughter. He should know. Come on now. All right, so we're taking a look.